This is the Soko 2019 U.S. Open Contest Silver Fence Planning. Farmer John's N cows, conveniently numbered 1 to N, have a complex social structure revolving around moon networks, smaller groups of cows that communicate within their group and not with other groups. Each cow is situated at a distinct location on the 2D map of the farm, and we know that M pairs of cows moo at each other. Two cows that moo at each other belong in the same moo network. In an effort to update his farm, Farmer John wants to build a rectangular fence with its edges parallel to the X and Y axes. Farmer John wants to make sure that at least one moo network is completely enclosed by the fence. Cows on the bound area of this rectangle count as being enclosed. Please help Farmer John determine the smallest possible perimeter of the fence that satisfy this requirement. It is possible for this fence to have zero width or zero height. First we need to read the input. The first line of input contains n and m. The first n lines each contain the x and y coordinate of a cow. The next m lines each contain two integers a and b describing a moo connection between cows a and b. Every cow has at least one moo connection and no connection is repeated in the input. Um, and as you can see, the coordinates of the cow, the first cow is 0, 5, next cow is 10, 5, next cow is 5, 0, 5, 10, 6, 7, 8, 6, and 8, 4. Then the moo connections are 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 5 to 6, and 7 to 6. As you can see, the moo, con the moo network here has two groups, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, 6, and 7. Uh, next, we'll look at the output format, which will just be the smallest possible perimeter of a fence satisfying Farmer John's requirements, in this case, 10. And to first, we'll need to find all of the moon networks, and to do this, we'll employ either BFS or DFS. And please keep in mind that the example shown is not the sample input, I just simplified it so it's easier to demonstrate. First, we'll start with the first cow. Which cows is this cow connected to? We check and it's number two. And then we can check which cow number two is connected to. And we can check that it's number three. Which cow is number three connected to that we haven't visited? None of them. So we can constitute that one, two, and three is one moo network. Then we can go to number four, which cow is this connected to? Number five, which cow is number five connected to? Number six, which cow is number six connected to? Number seven, and which cow is number seven connected to that we haven't visited before? None of them. So we can constitute four, five, six, and seven as also a moon network. Then we can use all of the moon networks to count, to find the perimeter of the rectangle that encloses all of them. And we can do this by also using BFS or DFS. First, we'll go through all of the cow members of the BF, uh, of the cow network or the moon networks. Um, we'll first go to number one cow, and for to calculate the perimeter, we'll need to get this the lowest x value, the lowest y value, the biggest y value, and the biggest x value. And we'll go through each of the cows in the network, and we'll, we can see that the smallest x value was by number one, the largest x value was by number three, the largest x y value was by number two, and the smallest y value was by number three. And we can uh, keep a note of these values because we'll need them to calculate the perimeter. And by using this formula, we can cut calculate the perimeter of each rectangle that encloses all of the moon, moon members. And therefore, by going through all of the moon networks and calculating their perimeter, we can get the smallest possible perimeter. And now let's program by first getting int integer n, which will be at the first line. The, um, these lines just um, take care of the input. The more technical side that I won't go over. 
first I read N and M. And then for N lines, it will just grab a cow. Cow's location. And to get this, we'll create, well, to store this information, we'll create a custom class cow and we'll say it has an x, y. And then we'll, yeah, I think that's all we need to do. And we'll store this in an array of cows. Um, Cow, cows, Disney cow, n. For for the we'll repeat this n times and store each cow at integer dot parse new cow integer dot parse that's that will read the locations of the cows by first we'll put this in a string tokenizer to split the coordinate into two integers. Then we'll get the first one and put it in as x, and then the second one and put it in as y. And now that we've read that, we can read the moo connections. And we'll create a custom class for this too. Static class connections. And this will essentially be the same as Actually, we won't use that. I think it's better to use a hash map. Or actually just an array of array lists. Or yeah, I think a hash map works better. Integer array list. Connections equals new hash map. And what this, what we'll do is we'll get each of the cow connections and store all of the connections each cow has in this in this hash map. We'll do this by i equals n or zero i equals n m i plus plus int a equals a. first we'll read the line into a string tokenizer by the way the reason we're using tokenizer and buffer breather instead of scanner is because it is simply way faster but i'm sure you already knew that we'll read the two integers And we'll put, first of all, we need to check if connections has a key of A. And if it doesn't, oh, we'll add a array list there if it doesn't exist. Then connections dot get a dot add b, and we need to make sure that we need to do this also for the other way around. This is because cow connections are bidirectional, which means that if one cow can move at move at other, the other can the other cow can also move back. So we'll do the same thing for b and a the other way around.
get b dot add to a and now we have read all of the connections and we will get we will get this get the cow moon networks through dfs or bfs i think we'll do dfs because i just like the method better but there shouldn't be no problem with either of them in this case scenario so i'd advise to practice with the method that you're not used to so you can get some practice in for questions that require specific algorithms so first we'll create a q or four and i also i forgot to subtract one term here since the first one will be labeled as one but what we really need to do is get the zero zeros index i to zero we will iterate through the number of cows to get the new networks ready and we, we will keep track of all the places we've been equals new boolean and if we haven't visited i then we will launch the dfs uh, we need to keep track of the leftmost index left x equals negative one or we need to get the minimum value, so we'll set this to integer dot max value. Um, and left y equals integer dot max value. And or let's call this small x, so there's no confusion at in the slightest. Uh, large x equals negative one and large y equals negative one. And then we will create a DFS by first creating a Q. Q equals new linked list. Um, then we will add that add this index. Then while q dot is empty, first we will set visited actually int index equals q dot full if or visited index equals true. So we don't go back to it again. And then we will get the in x and y values. Um, cows dot get or what was it called? Cows index dot x and y equals cows index dot y. Um, and then what we'll do is we need to check if each x value satisfies being less than small x or larger than x large x and for y values smaller than small y and larger than large y. If or we can just simplify this down to one liners by doing small x equals math dot minimum small x and x large x equals math dot max large x x and then we can do the same thing for the y's y y y y then Oh, we'll need to keep track of the smallest possible perimeter. So int 
min per equals max dot max value. Or sorry, integer dot max value. Then after we've count we've gotten the x and y values, we will go through go through the connections that this this uh, index has connections dot get index and if we haven't visited there q dot add i2 that will be good and after we've finished looping this q then we can calculate the perimeter and perimeter equals large x minus small x times 2 plus large y minus small y times 2 and min per equals math dot minimum perimeter and min perimeter and at the end we can just print out the answer. We will need to get the input and output files ready. So let's just do that real quick. Add new file, eventsplan.in, and the input data will be this. Then create an, I don't think we need the output file. And we'll just check through and check through stand, standard output. Yeah, it outputs the correct. So out, then out dot close. Then let's submit it. Now we can submit it on Yusako, submit solution, and it's grading. And it looks like we got everything correct in the given time.